Hello beautiful Pisces, welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and you've landed on Intuitive Energies. I do readings to empower Pisces. I do them twice a day or as uh, my subscribers like to call it, they're Jane a day. It's actually two Jane a days but I kind of like it. Open at one point, the hashtag takes off. Maybe we should do that, eh? Don't put hashtags in the comments please because if you do they might get um, they might get thrown in the uh, in the bin for for spam. So uh, yeah, you can write Jane a day without the hashtag in front of it. That'd be great. All right, Pisces. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna start with the healing mantra. So this week is all about uh, being the healer of the ages. Okay, we're in a full moon in Pisces. Beautiful. It's a harvest moon, so it's a Things are coming to fruition. Um, last couple of days, they've just been talking about um, being cautious in this energy because you can be super attractive to everybody. Not only that, everybody else is going to be in the Pisces energy as well, so it's going to make them uh, attractive as well, even to us, because we're going to be feeling our energy off of them, okay? So just keep that in mind, Pisces, when you are doing whatever you are doing. I wanted to add, I said that uh, this is a perfect week to get things done before Mercury retrograde on the 27th. Uh, if you've started something already, it's perfect. You can keep doing it in Mercury retrograde. It might slow down a bit during Mercury retrograde. That's fine. It's just they don't want you to start anything like in the retrograde. You can continue on whatever you've been working on, okay? Okay, so this is cultivating courage. In any given moment, I always know exactly what to do. Okay, so I feel right away this, first of all, the blue, talking about the throat chakra. Not only that, it is also helping you to say to you that you have the intuition to trust yourself, Pisces, to do the right thing at all times, okay? Uh, as Pisces, we like to question ourselves so much. We we put so much uh, uh, self-doubt and, and lack of confidence. I don't know if any other sign is like this, but I know for our sign, we are so hard on ourselves and we should not be. Especially if you've been doing work with me in the last year or so, Pisces, you should be feeling so much better about yourself. So this is just spirit telling you, don't worry, okay? Rewiring the nervous system. We had the Nine of Swords yesterday and it was really, it felt really strong when it came in for the fact that it, it felt like you were sitting there being anxious. So it says here, I find strength in surviving my traumas. So again, cultivating courage and strength. I'm feeling the strength card coming in here. A lot of, um, a lot of lion energy here, the strength card, the infinity, number eight, feeling that a lot, having a brave heart. Okay, so this week they're telling you be brave, beautiful Pisces, and don't worry about things. Okay, everything is fine. Here at the bottom it's written, hearing inner guidance. So I'm going to leave that there and just, we did have the Hermit card as well yesterday. So I said, I will be repeating myself this week, but I'm hoping that they throw in like new nuances every time we do something new here to help you out. This one want to jump out. We have the King of Wands. It, very important. Take the lead in the situation. Okay, Pisces? It's important for you to uh, believe in yourself enough to take the lead in your own life. It is so hard to do for ourselves. Sometimes we look at other people. We're always listening to people for guidance. And that's all well and fine, Pisces, but at some point, you have to trust yourself, okay? You are the best judge of who you're supposed to be. Um, I like to say this all the time on my channel, okay? I'm here to empower you so that you can make your own decisions. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Your life is your own. You have the freedom of choice. Anybody else who tries to control you in any kind of way are not people who are trying to help you, okay? 
Christ Pisces. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, we have the Queen of Swords. I like the fact that they're not facing the same way. That's what hit me right away. They're not looking in the same direction, okay? <clears throat> the Queen of Swords, though, has her own special powers. It's not because they're at odds or they're opposed. I feel that they're just two very different powers. The King of Wands is somebody who is a natural born leader with a lust for life. Okay, he's very dynamic, inventive, and you can add in Pisces really well to that energy because it's all about passion. On the flip side, and it's been a week of, it's going to be a week of, like I said, different energies, remember? You have the beautiful one, the one who wants to go in the flow, and then you have the cautious one. This is a cautious energy right here. This is the one who goes inside of her mind, especially in a week where we have almost like our normal en um, Pisces energy plus the energy of Pisces moon coming in. We're kind of getting hit with it twice. So it's important to retreat back to this beautiful Queen of Swords who has great strength of character and has, a, has independence. That level of independence is week is going to give you the courage and strength to be um, more level-headed, okay? And that is going to be important. She's also a clear communicator, and that, I, as I've said from the beginning of the week, is going to be really crucial to every situation that you do this week that you are clearly communicating your intentions, okay? Whether it be romantic, business, anything. So, so, so important. I like the way that they're at odds. I like, well, they're not at odds, but they're facing two different ways. It's like two superpowers. They're back to back, okay? Um, they're showing me when uh, soldiers f fought, or you see that in movies too, uh, they go back to back to protect each other, to cover each other's back. So these energies back to back are really going to protect you this week. Okay, so the Six of Pentacles came out reversed. So it's saying that you're really going to have to work at your balance this week, Pisces, okay? The Six of Pentacles to me is always from uh, the nature guide. I call him the nature guide. You know, you can call him anything, but he's just because he's very rooted in earth energy. Every time he comes through, he feels like an old shaman or a native. Uh, a shoe uh, came in many, many weeks ago to explain the Six of Pentacles to me in a way that I really loved and assigned that energy to this card about that balance, okay? So it is all about finding that balance for you. Not for the neighbor, not for anybody else. What is applicable to you? Doesn't mean it's going to suit anybody in your life, around your life. It suits you. So make sure to find that balance, okay? Okay, so the next card fell to the ground. I always take that as a little bit of a thing, but here's the hermit again, okay? I talked about the hermit and out comes the hermit, so no uh, coincidence there. They're throwing it to the ground just to tell me, you know, it's something that uh, don't discount your inner journey inside, your intuition. I feel that they keep repeating this part because I, I think that some of you may actually just not... Um, I feel that some of you are not going to be taking or forgetting. It's not forgetting. It's just be so busy with different things and different energy that you're going to... I, I want to say dismiss, but not, not pay close attention enough uh, to your energy, your inner energy, that hermit energy that's so important, the one that it's like your gut feeling, okay, your introspection, your wisdom, your reflection, your contemplation. So they're saying, remember, you do have that available to you, okay, constantly.
the Healer of the Ages card, they're telling me, remember, that includes you, Pisces. You're also capable of healing yourself as well as others. Right. So, here's the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles feels like you're protecting, okay? So, on the flip side, I feel that some of you will go with the flow too much, and some of you will try to control what's happening too much instead of going with the flow. There is a balance. There's a happy medium here. The thing is that if you hold on too tightly, things don't open up. If you go with the flow too much, things open up too much. You're you're getting you're getting off the beaten path. You're falling into the ocean, okay? Instead of following the currents of the of of the little uh, river or whatever you are in, okay, that has a current. You're just following that path. You just kind of oops, took a left turn, and then that fell into the ocean, and now you no longer have a way. So there's that side, and then there's the other side where you're trying to restrict the flow of the river too much so that it's not actually going anywhere or getting anything done. So this is what they're showing me. You have to just ride the waves, okay? Sometimes the currents will be scary. Sometimes there'll be a fall to deal with. Um, just like somebody who's on a kayak and doing the rapids, sometimes it's going to get a little eh, but every once in a while you're going to hit a path or a spot that's calm, okay? So they're saying just go with the flow and don't fight the rapids because it's kind of useless. It's like the energy of Pisces, okay? This came out in reverse, but it's just saying that the clarity for you this week is going to be a little bit... It's going to take a minute for you to get clear on it, okay? So don't worry about it. it, it in reverse is not a bad thing. It's just that it might take you a minute to refocus. I feel that it's just going to take you a minute to go, oh, okay, whoops, I'm I'm not going the right way, okay, with this, or the other way, okay? Yeah, they're showing me, they're, they're bringing in what I've listened to Hester Ricks in, in, in like last year when I was listening to something she was saying, don't don't go upstream, don't fight to go upstream, just let yourself, you know, take take the way that you're going, don't fight to go the other way, right here. Okay, so these are beautiful cards to have. You have the Fool, it's upright, so trust the universe to keep you safe. Just trust the universe to do their job for you, okay? Um... They show me rewiring, rewiring the nervous system again. I feel that they're trying to say that you're just... Um, you're just trying to figure out where to go with this energy. I feel that you've been taught you're like that student who's gotten all the knowledge but has not been putting it into practice, okay? Because either things are just going too fast in the world right now and where there's not enough practice sessions. You just kind of, you get taught and then you get thrown in. And I feel that you're just trying to figure out where your balance is, where your medium is, okay? So don't worry about it, uh, Pisces. You're doing absolutely fine, okay? You're acing it. Even if you you feel like you're um, having a hard time with it, you're you're still acing it. You, there's no problems there. Okay. All right. So you have the five of swords here. Okay. So <laughs> a little bit of self defeat. Okay. Um, you might feel a little bit irritated by the fact that you're having a hard time with this, especially because it's Pisces energy. <laughs> It's okay, Pisces, okay? You're fine. You're doing absolutely fine. Um, remember, there's winning and losing is all subjective to the team you're on. So there's really no winning or losing. It's just lessons to be learned. It's just checkpoints to go through, okay? So you're doing absolutely fine here. I feel a lot of amusement in these readings because I feel that spirit thinks that you're being tremendously hard on yourself this week, Pisces, okay? 
there's potential for a lot of growth with the Queen of Pentacles, okay? You'll do fine. You have enough grounding within yourself, even with this double energy, to know and see everything that's coming at you, okay? So for those of you who are worried with this Four of Pentacles about going the wrong way, and I feel tension, like my body is hurting, my lower body is hurting right now because it feels like it's, it's, it's strained, you know, I'm trying to control all the muscles, and it's actually causing me uh, more difficulties than needed. I could just actually just take a deep breath, <sighs> go listen to meditation, go for a walk, change my mind. Uh, I don't know, do a collage, write down, write in, in the book that I'm writing, anything, like a anything else to get my mind off of uh, this energy. And then for some of you, uh, the other part of it that I'm feeling is dizzy. I feel dizzy in the energy of Pisces, which means that I'm feeling like, oh, I'm going to be swept away by the emotion of it all. You know, it's like, uh, it's like um, the Knight of Cups is going to show up and he's going to be all like, whoa, and he's not actually a cup sign. He's just like some other, any other sign who's just like utilizing all this beautiful energy this very sexy energy and I won't be able to tell the difference and you know I'm gonna end up having a, a one night stand with somebody being swept away by the romance and then <laughs> and then I'm gonna regret it right and this is what I'm feeling and it's it's only an example I'm not talking about anybody in particular it could apply to somebody but again, you now you're feeling like, oh God, I won't be able to control this. And then when you try to control it, then it hurts. So it feels like you're, you're going the extremes and you don't really know what to do. Now, I see the three right away for this three of cups. I feel that there's going to be a reconnect for you this week, okay? And you're going to start just easing off of this uh, dual energy that you're feeling, okay? You're going to kind of start feeling better about it. And I feel that it's harmony plus spirit. You, you know, you, the other person, the situation, whatever. One is you, one is whatever relating to you right now, and the third one is spirit. So it's all going to just kind of, you know, match up and work out for you. So no worries, okay? I keep like coming in and I feel like I'm just easing your mind, Pisces. And uh, I, I really feel that some of you are just you're feeling fantastic and some of you are feeling frazzled right now and uh, <laughs> weird weird feelings to be feeling because I'm feeling like the the switch in both it's it's quite interesting right and here's that beautiful empress card showing it showed up yesterday oh and the hierophant card look look it just kind of flipped out it slipped out of the deck okay there's the Hierophant card, and that is, again, what we're saying, okay? You have been learning so much, and you want to be like an expert at what you are doing, but you're afraid to fail, and don't worry about it. You're going to be okay, okay? Your belief system has changed. Your stuff that you're doing has changed. You have improved for the better in yourself, Pisces. No worries, okay? So I'm going to read these, and then I'm going to come back to um, to do the reading later on, the extended. Uh, so this first one says cultivating courage. Let's see. When courage is cultivated, you are aware of your choices and are able to pinpoint your most inspired options with accuracy and ease. Such options may not always match up with the things you want, but they will always give you the exact experiences you need to further evolve your soul. See, so just take this as another learning experience of how to uh, better balance your energies, okay? And be courageous in yourself, okay? Get that strength card. That strength card showed up in these two here, okay? As you cultivate courage, you are stepping into a new frontier of soul expansion where life has permission to guide you forward into the fulfillment of your long-awaited destiny, okay? So this is good. Breaking old habits, that applies to that Hierophant card. Deepening your focus, really good. And following your heart, which is very much a Pisces and Cups emotional thing to do this week. So the next one is rewiring 
the nervous system. When the nervous system is rewired, you are no longer trapped in the memories of your body. You are the courageous hero or heroine in your present reality, honoring every moment of hardship as the means through which your infinite strength and greatest depth of character is revealed. As you rewire your nervous system, you are no longer responding to life from the vantage point of your painful past but instead are open to each encounter being more miraculous than the moment before. Again, it's about embracing everything that comes in, even these weeks of energies where we have to figure out how to balance it and not get stuck on the little stuff of, God, I'm going to make a mistake, or how can I control this? Just follow your intuition, your inner guide, of this beautiful see the I had put it on top and I was hiding his head um, he fell to the ground it's it's like this card wants to be forgotten for this week and spirits going don't forget him you have that you have that that introspection that you can rely on Pisces okay so that's it for this one uh, if you've loved this reading and you want to hear the extended, I invite you to subscribe, hit that notification bell to all. If you'd like to support this channel, it's all in the description box. All of the things that I offer, if anybody contacts you outside of here, it is not me. Please do not answer any of them or give them any money. Everything I offer is in the description box itself. So those are the appropriate links and that is it. Thank you so much Pisces. I'm sending you lots of love, light and blessings. And please, please stay safe and take care of yourself.